Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. But then again, you know that, don't you? That's why you're tuning in. Annoying office today. My car's having some tyres fitted, so I was stuck. Stuck in my bedroom out of way. Uh, I don't really know what to say. There's a lot of people doing a lot of interviews and chatting a lot of shit, isn't there? Every time I turn my telly on lately, I've got Dave Cowell giving an opinion. You know why that is? He's down to two fighters, isn't he? Opie Price and Jordan Gill. So he's got to get his son back out there, Cowell, hasn't he? And snare a pay-per-view fighter. You know, he'll be wanting a Chisor or a Bellew or maybe a David Price type. Who knows? Who's to say that Dave Allen don't get smashed up by Aimer and then enter Dave Caldwell? I mean, David's gone round all houses, hasn't he? Mick Marsden, uh, Peter Fury, Steffi Bull, Darren Barker. Who else is he with? Jamie Moore. The list is endless, isn't it? So Dave Caldwell's not been on this Jay. Well, we had him boob as well, wasn't he, David? Well, didn't he train with him? It'd be interesting if you... I mean, all them people that David's been with, you'd have thought he'd be better than what he is because he could have picked something up off each one of them, couldn't he? But then again, Macklin were the same, wasn't he? And he never won a world title, did he? No offence against Matthew Macklin. We shouldn't put Dave Allen in the same bracket as Macklin, but it frustrates me when I see wasted talent. But it is what it is, isn't it? We keep seeing these interviews and here Bean, IFL, Boxing Social, Dave Caldwell, IFL, Boxing Social, Ben Davidson, IFL, Boxing Social. It's like a never-ending circle, isn't it? But what we've got at the moment is we've got people jostling for position, like I've just said there. Dave Caldwell, he's got no fighters now, has he? So he's got to get out there and sell his ass. That's what he's got to do, hasn't he? Eddie earn has got enough on his plate. He can't be dropping people on Coldwell's lap every two minutes because there's nobody to drop on anybody's lap. Sponsors are pulling out with fighters. There's no slots. You've just seen Bellew begging on phone, admitting that he begged on phone to get one of his fighters a slot. He put a kid, kid in there that, that, didn't, that weren't prepared for that fight just to get the kid a few quid. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? What's going on? It, people are starting to panic now in boxing. I have it all day. I've mixed messages on here. People are starting to sweat like pigs. And it's only going to get worse, in my opinion. It's only going to get worse. Let's have a look what we've jotted down here. Let's have a look. Bean interviewed, Coldwell interviewed, Bellew interviewed, Ben Davidson interviewed. Office. We're going around in circles, and we've covered that, haven't we? Porky, what level is Dave Allen at? Uh, I don't really know, really. Whatever you say, you're, you're a hater, twisted, bitter, troll, jealous, harsh. Who cares? Dave Allen has just got smashed up off David Price, right? Would you say David Price is British level? No, you wouldn't, would you? Daniel DeBar and Joe Joyce are British level. They smashed David Price to bits. So if they're British level and David Price is below that, he's English level. So David Price at English level smashed Dave Allen to bits. So Dave Allen's not English level, is he? He's below his area level. For example, Hamer knocked David Price out. David Price beat Dave Allen for every second of every round for 30 minutes. So if Hamer's Euro level for beating Price, Price is not British, not he's probably English level. What level's Dave at? Hamer's Euro level, in my opinion, Euro level. At a worst, you'd say he's British stroke Euro level, wouldn't you? That's what you would say. But how dare I say that against somebody from the same postcode as me? Well, we're not here to make friends, are we? We're here to give an opinion. Nobody likes it. Jog. You don't have to watch. 
There's a rumour going around that Ryan Rhodes and Adam Etchitz are going to be training Kel Brook. What experience has Ryan Rhodes got to be training Kel Brook for a world title? Go and watch my first ever video on Porky's Corner. Go and watch it. It's We won at NASA Brothers. He made his debut with Ryan as his trainer. He got beat in his first fight. So... I think Ryan's a bit inexperienced to being with Kel Brook, but it's all pointing towards it being a cash grab, isn't it? And Kel trying to save as much money as he can out of his purse, which I can understand. I can understand that. I can understand that. Ryan Rhodes were a world-class fighter, in my opinion. Don't mean to say he's going to be a world-class trainer. He's an inexperienced trainer going up against a pound-for-pound pound superstar. Now, in my opinion, that is like... Hmm, that's like putting a Ford Mondeo up against a Ferrari. Am I right? That's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. I think Ryan's inexperienced and everything's pointing towards calamity and somebody getting hurt. But I don't think Kel will get hurt. I think the towel will come in. I think the towel will come in. When Kel Brooks found it hard in fights, the towels come in, on it? Golovkin, Errol Spence. I mean, Carson Jones smashed his face in, didn't it, first time. Um, he looked very uncomfortable, Kel, but... If you go onto box rec and go through Kel Brook's record, you'll see that there's more padding in it than Willie Hutchinson's record. Oh, dare I say anything about another ingle fight there? Yeah, I dare. Because I fell are not going to say it, are they? They might whisper it to their friends, but they won't come on camera and say it, will they? I hope Kel Brook, though, smashes Crawford to bits and goes like that to Eddie Earn, sticks two fingers up because he's been discarded like rubbish. Now, I would have liked to have seen Kel Brook do the job properly, go and pay somebody some money and have an experienced quarter man. I mean, why didn't he mention Adam Booth? Go to Adam Booth. He's the best. I don't hear Adam Boo's name getting mentioned lately. Oh, Adam Boo! It always seems to be Dave Coldwell. Well, we, all, we know what happened with Jordan Gill, don't we? And David Price and Tony Bellew. When they all stepped up, they got iced, didn't they, on his watch. Fowler got dropped as well on Coldwell's watch. So it looks to me like what I was told this morning off a trainer in Sheffield that People don't want to work with Dave Caldwell no more. Is that why he's now coming out doing interview after interview after interview just to make himself relevant? Is that why that's happening? Hey, is it? Because it, it looks that way to me. Because I, all I'm seeing is a lot of talking going on and I'm not seeing much training going on. Well, I'm not. Why aren't you at gym with his fighters? Putting hours in. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't get it. People whoring themselves out like whores. It's embarrassing. It's not macho, is it? It's not manly. But it is what it is. I've got enough on my plate without their problems. But we wish Kel Brook well and Ryan Rhodes and Adam Etchie. It's the dream team. Whatever happened to Ryan Rhodes and Steffi Bull, the Yorkshire promotion dream team? What happened to that? I don't know, they did one show and then it all fell apart. I did a video of it and I got criticised for saying that they, they, they won't last two minutes. Um, I don't know, have I, got a, I'm, I'm, have I got a magic crystal ball that I look, look into? No, I haven't. What I've got is experience and I've had character building in prison and I can spot bullshit and smell it a mile off. I just go like that, don't I? When I smell something... I smell some it, let me tell you. And I smell bullshit. Now, this Kel Brook Crawford fight, I smell a cash grab. They've got inexperienced corner. 
and they're going out to America. They've got no TV backing from England. So nobody's giving Kel Brook a chance. But could Kel Brook and the Spice Boy and Bomber Etchitz actually pull this off? I'm going to have a bet on Kel Brook to win. But he'll be in an accumulator and I'll try and jazz it up. And I hope he does win because he's had it, he's had it rough, Kel Brook. He's been treated like a dog. And used and abused by that many people. But I don't see him winning. You know, I don't... You have to think with your head and not your heart. I don't see Kel Brook, after the long layoff he's had and inactivity, and coming down to that weight again, I don't see him doing anything with Terence Crawford. All I see coming flying in is a towel. And then I see a lot of squabbling after and people falling out. That's what I see. And then I see Dominic Ingle on IFL smirking. Old smirk. The smirkinator. I see him smirking and saying, well, if he'd have had a 12-week camp with me, it'd have been different, blah, blah, blah. We've seen you with your 12-week camps with Kelbrook, haven't we, uh, Dominic? All we see is towel come flying in. So don't you be getting out your pram. You've got to let, you've got to let Kelbrook go and do his thing with his new team and we have to wish him well. But it's an inexperienced new team, and Kel Brook's on the slide, but everything's stacked against him. And sometimes when things are stacked against you, you never know what's round the corner. You never, never know. You never know. He could just pull some out of that bag. But what is Kel Brook's win? Best win? Sean Porter in a stinker where he held him held him for life, held on for dear life and held him. It would a stinker. Uh, that's his best win. His second best win, Senchenko, in my opinion. Third best win, couldn't even tell you. So it's a career that's been about money and about avoiding people. Frank Warren washed his hands of Kelbrook. We all know that, don't we? Because he couldn't work with Father. But they knocked that many fights back, didn't they? It was unbelievable. He should have fought Mike Jones, Tim Bradley. Fights like that, they didn't come off, so Frank Warren got impatient, didn't he? But Kel Brook's career has been one big mess, in my opinion. Badly advised from day one. Avoided anybody that were half any good. And I just think it's a shame that he's cashing out like this. He's probably paying his team on cheap. And going in going in for a fight ill prepared he's not prepared to go in there we a guy like Crawford what has Kel done it last few years I mean people keep going on about the Sean Porter fight how many years ago were that over six years ago that were over six years ago that's a lifetime in boxing what has he done since then it's just been he's had a few good idings and he's fought a few stiffs it's a shame it's a shame, but it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Uh, what else has been happening? Well, Lomachenko got beat, didn't he? AJ's in a crap pay-per-view against a guy pushing 40-year-old. Poole left says AJ's got a better tan than him. Ritson got a gift. Terry O'Connor's a blind man. Eddie Earn don't really care about Ritson, does he, as you can see? Matthew Macklin and Adam Smith keep going on about how, how they're not biased. It's only because I've set about pair of you in the last few weeks on my channel. And I know you're watching because I've heard back. It's only because I've set about you that you're now going other way, making out you're not biased. Well, going for picking Vasquez in that fight don't mean anything because Lewis Ritson's not a matching fighter. Stop saying he's a matching fighter and that and you, that you're going with who's winning the fight, because it's the first ever. Ritson's not a match room fighter, full stop. All right, he's an MTK fighter. He is not a match room fighter. Nobody's a match room fighter, only Joshua. Unbelievable. And maybe fighters who Joshua managers, like a Coley and Boatsy. But who'd, wanna, who'd, who'd pay to watch Boatsy and a Coley? Boatze is a protected fighter and a Coley. You wouldn't open curtains to watch him, would you? What are they doing with Josh Warrington? What are they doing with Callum Smith? What are they doing with Billy Joe Saunders? What are they doing with Martin J. Ward, John Ryder? What, what, what's happening with them people? Josh Warrington, 
Hey, what, what are you doing with them people, Eddie? Uh, that's what I want to know. What are you doing with people like that? You're doing jack shit with people like that. Keep getting Dave Allen slots with getting good hidings. Who's looking out for poor Dave Allen? Hey, when Dave Allen's cooking like that, are you going to give him a pundit job? Is he going to be one of the expert analysis men? Somebody that's not won a belt, but they'll have him on Sky. Is that what we're going to have next? Get Dave Allen in with Tom Little. Get him a belt and let's start going through up levels and see how good he is. Instead of jumping in with Euro guys, Euro level guys all the time. It's David in the ring getting punched, isn't it? Not you, Mr. Bean. All right. So thank you for liking and subscribing, leaving a comment. Thank you very much and sharing the video. If you don't like the video, don't share it. But who cares? All right. Peace out.